What's up guys, how you all doing today? So it is uh, quarter to three in the afternoon and I've been so, so busy this morning. I've just not had a chance to do any kind of uh, video at all. And now I'm over in a place called Godalming uh, in Surrey, which is about uh, an hour and 20 minutes from my house with no traffic. And um, yeah, I've got to go in and present to a bunch of technical engineers at three o'clock. So I've got about 14 minutes. Uh, before I need to go in there and, and do my thing and um, then I finish at five I've got to present for two hours that's a long time to present two hours um, and then I've got gym tonight at seven o'clock so I've got to make my way from here all the way over to South London in two hours in rush hour which I'm not even sure is going to be possible but I'm just hoping that I can uh, make it in time because I really don't want to miss my uh, stand-up uh, fighting class tonight. So anyway, that is that. But I was kind of um, thinking I wanted to talk to you guys about my main kind of setup at home and my 4K dilemma, so to speak. Now, the Mac Pro that I've got, or if at any Mac Pro, will only support three 4K displays. Now, I don't know if the reason for that is because each 4K display requires two Thunderbolt ports um, in order to get 60 hertz, or if it's just some software limitation, or um, I don't know, some other physical limitation, I don't know. Um, I'd like to know the exact reason why that is. I know there's only three buses uh, in terms of graphics buses on the back of a um, Mac Pro, even though there's six ports. And maybe that is why uh, each one needs its own dedicated bus to get enough bandwidth. I'm, I'm imagining that's probably the reason. But either way, my workflow requires... It doesn't really require six screens, but it requires the same real estate that I've got. Now, I don't mean the same real estate in terms of the number of pixels, because three 4K displays would be probably more pixels than I've got now. But I mean in terms of the physical size. And the reason for that is that that's just the way my workflow is. So, for example, when I am uh, doing certain kinds of uh, spread betting, trading, whatever it may be, whether it be Bitcoin or equities or whatever, um, I have the whole thing covered up with all kinds of graphs and statistics and web pages and news and all kinds of stuff. And in order to be able to see all of that and be able to read it at a glance and check it at a glance, I need that much physical space. So even if I got three 32 inch 4K monitors, that's still not gonna be enough physical screen space. Now, the issue is, is that if you go up a size uh, and put them in portrait, I don't like the way that looks when you're looking at it. And in addition to that, I like having the six spaces. I know a lot of people go, oh, um, what's the thing? You know, like the borders around the outside, bevel, bezels. But I actually like that because it separates each little kind of mini workflow that I've got going on within a major workflow. Um, and it's easy to frame stuff. A lot of people say, you know, if you could get like one big 100 inch screen, wouldn't that be better? Now, for starters, if you did that, the pixel density would be crap unless you had like a 12K screen or an 8K screen maybe. Um, 4K screen, the pixel density would be awful. But I don't know if it would be very good to have, have to position windows manually. I like the idea that you just snap it to a screen. Um, so yeah, I've got this kind of 4K dilemma. I want to go to 4K screens. The issue is that I can't run six 4K screens. I don't want to run bigger screens in portrait. I don't want one big screen because the pixel density would be crap unless someone can find me a nice 90 inch 8 or 12k screen that doesn't cost a billion pounds or dollars um, and even then like I say I might not be able to kind of like working with the fact that I've got no boundaries or borders to put each mini workflow into so that is that situation that I've got there and it's very annoying the other one that people come up with is they say well look have three 4k screens along the bottom and then have three QHD screens along the top, you know, the 25, 60, 40, and 40 screens. The problem is, is that they, I need them to be symmetrical for my own uh, OCD purposes, and it'd be very unlikely to find three matching screens uh, to match the three bottom ones. So 
that is another pain in the ass as well. And in addition to that, I don't even know if you could run um, three 4K and three 2K screens off the Mac Pro. I don't know if the limitation is three 4K screens only or if it's three 4K screens and three 2K screens. I'm not sure. I don't think that's even possible. So I have this real kind of issue around 4K at the moment in terms of my home sort of main desktop workspace. Don't really know what to do about it. I think at the moment I've got no choice but to just stick with what I've got. And that is by no means rubbish. Um, you know, I've got a great sort of set of monitors. They, they work absolutely perfectly for me. In which case, maybe I've just answered my own question. So, all finished up in there. It went really well. Uh, they're a really uh, top group of lads in there. So, I really enjoy um, going in there and just spending a couple of hours sort of talking to them about technology and uh, all the kind of latest and greatest uh, bits around mobile uh, deployment, mobile device management, mobile information management, mobile application management, uh, all of the kind of cool stuff. So very, very enjoyable, top, top group of guys. And that is pretty much my day. I am now rushing back over to South London to get back in time for my Muay Thai class at seven o'clock. And hopefully I'm gonna make it in time. It's only about an hour and a half away with no traffic, but at this time of night, going around the M25, which is the big circular, uh, motorway that goes all the way around London it is an absolute nightmare so here's hoping that I can get back in time hope you guys have had a great day I will be back with you tomorrow someone just did something very very strange peace <laughs>